Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Stan, Stan the Radio Man, and this is another adventure, a radio adventure in interesting ideas, ways to uh, explore some things that might help us think better, be better, do better, and perhaps uh, make a better contribution to the way life is in this rather uh, <laughs> rambunctious and chaotic world today. I just recently uh, got a greeting, which I had never gotten quite this way. Uh, here it was. Dear Stan, may your next full journey around the sun be a, one of your best ever. May your next full journey around the sun be your best journey ever. Well, what does that mean? Well, some of you maybe have used that uh, rather wonderful line, and so you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you don't, perhaps uh, we can talk a little bit about what uh, my children used to call the Red Plate Day. I'm Stan, just a few minutes of thought, perhaps some inspiration and some encouragement for you on this Monday, the 24th of June, as we are now into the first week of summer in the Northern Hemisphere. And those of you in the Southern, uh, it's getting cooler, isn't it? I'm Stan. We'll be going on the radio with you right now. Thank you for your time. Thank you for giving me a, a few minutes to think. By the way, sometimes I just am caught by some act of creativity, and I like to pass it on. I bought a magazine, or my wife and I got a, a magazine. We decided to order it anyhow because both of us got a little... You know, it was just mailed to us for some reason. Obviously, they picked it up because we do have a few magazine subscriptions, but the name of the magazines was called Garden and Gun. <laughs> Garden and Gun. Now, talk about something that will get your attention. What in the world could Garden and Gun be about? Well, what it is, it is a magazine about living in the southern part of the United States, and of course the story then was why do they call this magazine Garden and the Gun? Well, they had a rather interesting story, and it was the fact that uh, there was a nightclub named that, and so 17 years ago when they began the magazine, they just took the name and uh, they have storied on, and they say that they're kind of talking about uh, the Southern Spirit way of life garden and gun, and they offered such a unique price, I said to my wife, let's just see what it's like, because we're, you know, interested uh, in gardening for sure, and we like life in the South, but uh, how do they connect that from time to time with uh, guns, which we know something about, but how about that? How can that work? Well, Maybe you have had similar experiences. But it was worth it was worth the twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars to see what a, a year subscription might be like and uh, find out more about the place that we are now presently living in the southern part of the United States of America at this age and stage. Well, uh, many of you may know that what uh, my uh, dear friend was saying to me was. Happy birthday, Stan. <laughs> you know, uh, may your next full journey around the sun, obviously that's a year, be one of your best ever. And uh, I would like that. Now, I've had lots of birthday greetings, and uh, my wife said, if you talk about that, don't tell them which one it is, because they will then perhaps figure out that you are old. Now, you may have lots of energy, you may not look it, uh, you may have lots of good stuff going for you, but we are old. Now, just how old and how that may have affected us uh, will be determined. 
But uh, here we go thinking about that. Now, what I did, and I think I did something smart, not always, but I think I did. Uh, I said, first of all, I'm going to take this day and uh, I'm going to say some thoughts and prayers of gratitude. You know, I made it. <laughs> I made it through another year. And when I think back of the things I've gone through, and particularly uh, uh, the battle with the big C word about six, seven years ago, uh, I'm, uh, I'm grateful that I'm here. You know, that line when someone says, it's good to see you, I stole a line from a client of mine a number of years ago, in which I simply repeat, you know, and uh, thank you, it's, and it's good to be seen. Uh, yeah, and so we've had another year, and uh, we have another year ahead of us, and uh, it uh, was a challenging year, and it's going to be a challenging year coming up, but uh, we've, uh, we made it, and uh, here's what I did. After I did that, and continue to do that, and share that hopeful optimism with you, I then just sat down and uh, started to write down all of the opportunities that are before me. Now, these are not you know, just possibilities, but they are, or not true right now realities, though in many cases I wish they were. But uh, what I did is I looked at the things that are before me and the people who I've had contact with and the connections and communication I have going in a variety of ways and places, and then I just, in gratitude, started to write down the opportunities that I know of that I have because of what I've done or what I've been fortunate enough to come upon or uh, someone has sought me out, here are the opportunities. And I'm, I'm not boasting because uh, <laughs> a lot of them may not work out, but I am grateful for all of those opportunities because in doing so, I was quite surprised at just... The, the range and the reach and the possibilities that I have for me uh, in this uh, next journey around the sun. So I just share that with you on this brief Monday afternoon flowing into the evening, a little report from the radio. And I would encourage you, uh, um, particularly if I, uh, that means something to you. You remember, not only a, every time we have a change of season, it's a good time to do that. And this is a summer season. It is a winter season. We are at that part of the uh, solstice. Uh, what is before you in this season of the year? in this uh, journey around the sun for you. I would love to um, know what some of the opportunities you might have are. It would be wonderful to see if we could begin uh, what I would oftentimes call a uh, opportunity circle. And maybe this is something we ought to think about where we always talk about networking maybe what we need to do is create something a little more transformative in which people share their opportunities and we begin to see if there's some connections, both out of curiosity or opportunity or out of desire that we could help one another in uh, creating possibly not only some good, but maybe creative and maybe even transforming opportunities. 
We're talking a lot about the Transformation Project, and as I uh, told many of you in part of the Interesting Ideas series on Fridays, I'm working with a, a good mentor and a former student of mine. His name is Joe Pine, and he's writing a book on transformation and possibly a transformation economy and perhaps all of the experiences and adventures and all of the things that might happen if we would take that word, the big T word, seriously. Maybe we are called, as part of our adventure in life, and remember, this is important, R-I-S-K. Risk is a four-letter word for life, and uh, we want to live fully. We want to be fully alive, and we would like to be able to be agents of <laughs> maybe uh, people who are somewhat good at helping and creating those good and useful and maybe even blessed uh, transformations, not only for ourselves and those we care about, our family and our business, but most importantly, for others. Well, that's my uh, journey around the sun story for you today, and I'm grateful you've given me uh, about 12 minutes to talk about it, and I'd love to hear from you. And uh, why don't you do what I did? Just sit down this week now and uh, kind of to make a list of the opportunities that just might be for you in this summer season in the second half of 2024. How do you want your life to be different on Christmas Eve, December 24? Yeah, Christmas Eve, it's June 24, December 24. How do you want your life to be different on that day? Think about it. Best and blessings to you. Uh, uh, we've got another day, and maybe we have another week, and maybe we have another year, and we will see. Take care. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Stan Houston at gmail.com. I would hope to hear from you and let me know perhaps how I might help you. Bye for now. <laughs>